why shouldn't the American people have the right to know from a Navy SEAL who is involved in this raid, this piece of history about what happened? Don't we have a right to know as Americans? Well, look, the, there's no question that the American people have a right to know about this operation. That's why the president spoke to the American people when that operation happened. Uh, and uh, yes, you know, they, they have a right to know, uh, you know, uh, that uh, there were those that put their lives on the line in order to conduct that operation. But people who are part of that operation, who commit themselves to the promise that they will not reveal the sensitive operations and not publish anything without bringing it through the Pentagon so that we can ensure that it doesn't reveal sensitive information. When they fail to do that, we have got to make sure that they stand by the promise they made to this country. I notice you say sensitive and not classified information. Well, you know, it, it, there's always fine lines here, but, uh, you know, we are currently reviewing that book to determine exactly, you know, what is classified and what isn't and where, where those lines are. But even beyond that, the fact that he did it without running it by the Pentagon so that we could take a look at it, I mean, deliberately just basically said, we're not, you know, we're not going to do this. That's, that's a concern. I, I cannot, as secretary, send a signal to, to SEALs who conduct those operations, oh, you can conduct these operations, and then go out and uh, write a book about it uh, and, uh, or, or sell your story to the New York Times. 